This is Holly Powell at SimpleHowToVideos.com and I get a lot of questions about the nav bar. Now I'm going to show you two ways to do your nav bar and I'm going to show you how I have it set up. Now I'm going to I delete the nav bar, a couple plugins, and show you how to use menus. So in this short video I'm going to show you my um, pages here in my back office. So all pages and I have a couple of plugins right now that help me exclude the pages that I want to exclude from the nav bar. So you see here that I have privacy policy and I have sitemap but those are not showing on my primary site. I don't have my privacy policy or sitemap showing. Okay, In this particular blog I'm using plugins to exclude those. And the plugins that I'm using, the plugin I'm using to hide those from navigation, my sitemap and privacy policy, is the exclude pages from navigation by Simon Wheatley. Okay, so when I go, if I want to go to my page and I click on my pages, the exclude pages plugin shows down here. Now if I wanted to include this page in my list of pages I could click here. Okay, that's that's how I exclude the pages on this blog. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this plugin and show you what happens. In my next video I will show you how to remove them using the menus. So in this video I'm going to end it with removing that plugin. So I'm just going to go down to my plugins, installed plugins. I'm going to deactivate the exclude pages plugin. Now some of you may panic doing this, but that's okay. Uh, it, I'm going to show you how to hide them again using the menus option in my next video. So if I go down here and I'm going to deactivate, I'm going to deactivate the exclude pages plugin and show you what it does. So I'm going to deactivate this plugin, and when I hover over, because I made them sub pages of Holly Powell, you see that they show. Okay, well I'm going to show you what happens if I don't make them sub pages. So I'm going to go back to my blog back office, and just for this privacy policy, I'm going to say that this has no parent. The clicker is not. Okay, and I'm going to update the page. So now you see that I have my privacy policy is showing up here. Well, I really don't like that. Okay, so I've showed you how to use the exclude pages plugin and how to deactivate it, but that's how you can hide different pages from your nav bar. That's that's an easy way. The next video I'm going to show you how to work in menus to create your custom menu up here.